Hello and welcome to another episode of my beginner's guide to working with Evernote 10. And this week I'm going to introduce you to Search. Now this one has already been requested many, many times, but I really wanted you to get the fundamentals of Evernote first before we delved into the more complex issue of searching for your notes, because there's quite a lot that you can search for within Evernote Notes. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. Now before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you get any value from this video, please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay. Let me take you into my demo demo Evernote account now and let me introduce you to search. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to search a very simple term and I've did this before. So I'm just going to go into here and I've got a saved search uh, called James Bond, which I actually showed you last week when we did uh, your shortcuts. But what I'm going to do is let's let's go into I'm going to stick with let's go with Ian Fleming for this example. So Ian uh, and it's also going to find this. So I've got a tag. So let me pull in the first the full word. So you can by the way, I've only got one Ian in there. So it found it what I needed. Now I should point out for those of you looking for a advanced level search tutorial. This is not the video for you. Remember, this is a beginner's guide to Evernote. And also, if I just click back on there, we are only using the non premium version of Evernote. So I am limited what I can search. But that said, you still can search within your whole Evernote uh, database. So let's go back to what we're searching for. So we're searching for Ian Fleming. So I've got sources that Ian Fleming, so things that will contain Ian Fleming. I've got the specific note that mentions Ian Fleming's uh, name. And I can go to the two notes that I actually have related to Ian Fleming there. And But there is something else. Let's just go into there. Source that Ian Fleming. So it's going to do its search. And there we go. I've got one, um, which actually... Um, so it's got the, the, in the title. So that's what it means in the title. Let's just go back. That wasn't what I really wanted. So let's just go in there. Let's go um, go into here and go Ian Fleming. And uh, Fleming. There we go. And we're going to hit return. Just from there, we're going to hit return. What it's going to do then, when you hit return from that, it's going to bring you everything up. Now, that's okay. That's great. And as you can see here, it's doing his highlighting uh, Ian Fleming's name from this list. So it's got it here and all the way that Fleming is named in there. But that isn't it. And this is something that many people miss about Evernote's new search. If you go to this icon here, you can now add filters. Now, I've only got two notes that relate to Ian Fleming. Let's say I have hundreds of notes that relate to Ian Fleming. What I can do is I can now go in and say any note that's located in a specific notebook. So I can click on there and choose a notebook or anything that's got a specific tag. So I can go in here and I can go uh, James Bond books, for example, would actually bring up just one note. So I can actually add filters. I can also go in here contains. So it will give me uh, details here, documents and files, addresses and so on. And I can go in created. So I can create a created date. When was it created? So there's a lot that you can actually do within Evernote search. Now, the other thing that you can do with search is search for keywords. Now, as you saw from last week, um, I've got this search here. And now from here, I can save that search. So if I wished, I can save that search. And I'll call that Ian Fleming. And I'm going to add this to my shortcuts, which I can do, which I showed you last week because we have that one for the James Bond there. I'm not going to add this one to shortcuts and you see where it's going to go. So once that's done, it's saved. If I click on here now, you'll see that I've got my saved searches right here. As soon as I click on the search function, I've got my saved searches. Now, there are keyboard shortcuts for this. And if I go into, you see, uh, let's have a look. Uh, 
yeah, it's very difficult to find the keyboard shortcuts when you're using this in Chrome. But if you're actually using the app version of Evernote, keyboard shortcuts, if I cannot remember off the top of my head what the keyboard shortcut for search is, but I will put that in the show notes below and that way you'll find, you can find it if you want it there. So let's go back into this. Let's just now pick up a random word. I'm going to, I know there's a word in here uh, that we've done because I have very limited. Let's just say I want to search for watches. Um, I'm going to hit return and sure enough there's a watch that I actually uh, I've got in here now it's uh, not highlighted anything but uh, it's good enough for me because now I've got what I was looking for watches and this is related to a watch and again I can actually save that in here so this is to do with the Omega watch that was used in the uh, No Time to Die James Bond film so there's a lot that you can do in here. I can also search, by the way, is anything that I've got in here called Amazon. So I'm not sure if there's any books that I'm thinking, I must have got some books. I'm going to click on Amazon and it's going to find the article or anything that's come from Amazon, which I've got right here. So one of the things that you want to be thinking about when you're collecting your notes, and this is something I advise to all my coaching clients when they're using Evernote or OneNote for that matter, any notes app, make sure that you put the keywords in the title. Now in Evernote, it's not vitally important but what's going to happen is if you've got hundreds, if not thousands of notes in there, if your keyword is in the title, then they are going to float to the top of your returns list. So down here, now, as, as I say, I've only got a limited number of notes in this demo, demo account, but you will find that as you get thousands of notes in here, it gets, you've got a long list to filter and you can, as I say, I can, you can filter these. But it's much gonna it's going to be much easier if you actually make sure that you've you put keywords in the title. There's just a quick tip for you there. So there you go. That's really all you need to know about uh, Evernote search, particularly when we're using the the basic version of uh, Evernote. You do get more options in the advanced, but this is just the beginner's guide. And I just want you to start playing around with search, get into the habit of searching your notes within Evernote, because this will be probably the number one way that you will come to start searching for your notes and looking for notes. So there you go. That's your introduction to Evernote search. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget the filter key, because this is something that I took me a long time to find when I when I moved over to Evernote 10 and once you find that that can really help you when you've got thousands of notes if not hundreds of notes in your Evernote. Thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. <laughs>